quantum or as they say quantum so-called physics so-called theory is not really science it is based on a misinterpretation of the double slit experiment that you can see here of course or at least part of what they do is they shoot radiation through two slits and then they see the patterns that emerge on a surface at the end and they say that if they observe it the pattern is by is one way one type but if they don't observe the experiments then the pattern is different so they conclude therefore the very act of conscious observation will make the result vary will change the result if you look then you change things if you think about something then you change the physical world now in a way that's specious because if you think about something then you can affect the physical world but but in a different way it's not by merely observing something so anyway uh, how do you know so how do you know that that's wrong it's very simple in order to observe you have to send radiation to hit the radiation that they emit here I think they call them photons the ones that they send light rays or whatever or particles they send that and then that bounces off that way they can detect so that's why the pattern is different whether they observe or not it's not because of consciousness but because they're sending radiation to hit radiation it's Newtonian physics it's not something that disproves Newtonian physics it is Newtonian physics they send atoms or whatever rays whatever waves or whatever bounces off and then that of course will hit it and alter its trajectory thereby producing a different pattern so quantum physics is based on that misinterpretation of this not recognizing basic Newtonian physics that they have not refuted and by the way Isaac Newton was a creationist although I think he denied the Trinity so he was a heretic so that's how you know that quantum is nonsense not real science and if you've heard of this experiment, this uh, imaginary experiment of a of a cat that's both dead and alive, that's that's what that's the kind of nonsense that you have to conclude if you believe in quantum. It says here the Copenhagen or Copenhagen interpretation of quantum implies that after a while the cat is simultaneously alive and dead. So, an implication of quantum is that contradictions can exist in the world for instance hot and cold can be simultaneously existing in the same thing love and hate or whatever because to them love is just chemical reactions how romantic <sighs> look the the biggest problem the biggest problem with quantum besides not recognizing the aforementioned photon emitting thereby different result having effect relationship is that if it is true if quantum is true if their so-called theory is true then order is just an illusion because what you see as alive is actually not alive what you see as dead is actually not dead if quantum is real but that's nonsense obviously because th look look how st look how stupid quantum is it implies that order is an illusion well logic is orderly so if you think quantum is logical quantum says that's just an illusion quantum undermines itself it refutes itself and that's how stupid it is so quantum which some people try to use to 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 reject the Bible because they say oh look we can we can teleport we can do all these things the Bible doesn't really allow us to do 
by implications or or the mind is or the ability of the mind to think which cannot be explained by Newtonian physics because well the mind isn't physical it's free to think so it's not a slave to physics it's not physical they try to explain that with quantum so you can explain any nonsense with quantum because all nonsense fits into quantum because quantum is nonsense 